guys. Today I am going to show you the Orbit Baby G5 stroller system. So this is the stroller. This is the stroller seat. This is the infant car seat. And this is the bassinet. Now Orbit allows you to mix and match as you need. So this four set together, all four pieces, is $1,980. It does also come with a rocker, a base for the bassinet to be on. I, however, do not have a base. This is actually a G3. It is not a G5, but for the purpose of today, we're going to pretend like it's a G5. And I will talk about that more a little bit later. To purchase the stroller system with the bassinet and rocker without the car seat, is $1,480. Now to buy the travel system, the stroller, the toddler, the stroller seat, and the infant car seat is $1,580. You can also purchase the stroller and the seat alone for $1,160. You can purchase the car seat by itself for $480. You can also purchase an additional base for $180. And you can purchase the bassinet with the rocker for $390. You can mix and match as you need. You can also purchase the seat frame for $690, not the seat frame, the stroller frame. And you can also purchase the seat for $400. Um, Orbit does have a helix system which attaches down here and it makes it into a double stroller. So you can purchase that and then purchase an additional seat. The fabric comes in a gray, a black, and this navy. It's kind of a jean color, which I really love. And the stroller frame comes in a rose gold, a titanium, and a black. And I have here the black. You can purchase extra canopies for the stroller seat and it also is this fabric as well and those are $90 each fabric set. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive in here. I have my cheat sheet of all the prices and weight limits but I'm going to go ahead and dive in here to what is so awesome about the Orbit. I absolutely love the Orbit baby um, I had the G2 with my babies. So this is the new and improved Orbit G5. What is different? Um, Orbit went out of business. They were sold. They closed down. Orbit stopped uh, with their G3, which is this guy here. So there's no G4. So um, the G3... What happened is that Orbit was, was making a lot of, of claims that they were natural, eco-friendly, um, had no flame retardants, different chemicals in it, and then it was tested and there were actually the chemicals in it, and so Orbit kind of pulled itself off of the shelves because um, they weren't living up to what they said they were, they didn't do anything legally wrong, nothing was unsafe about their products. So if you have the products, you can still use them. The levels did come in way lower than uh, most other car seats. However, Orbit had claimed that there was none in their products at all. So their, their, their presentation as a company was inaccurate. So Orbit disappeared for a few years. Uh, a Chinese company bought Orbit Baby and they had completely rebranded and actually held up to some of the claims. So they have this merino wool, and I don't have that on mine, but it is a, a naturally anti-flame retardant. So they have really found ways to uh, lower the chemicals in here naturally. Uh, they have just opened up to the US, which I'm super excited about. They just opened up to the US, and so you used it was that only it was a Chinese company you could only buy it um, overseas, and now you can buy it and in the U.S. So I'm super excited. I absolutely love 
this car seat, I know it's expensive, I know it's expensive, but it is probably one of the best purchases that you can spend money on. Like, I wouldn't even call it extra money because it's totally worth it. I will show you why in just a minute. Um, actually, I will start with that since I love it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and move these over. Okay, so we have our infant car seat. Our infant car seat goes into the car rear facing. So this is rear facing, so I would be facing forward in a car and this seat would be rear facing. It has so many awesome things about it. I really love the depth of the car seat. I feel like it really cradles and cushions baby. I really, really love the depth of the car seat. Um, there are so many awesome features that I just absolutely love. So the handle is padded. It's, it's not plastic, and a lot of car seats that when, in the event of an accident, if something hits this, it could clonk in and hit baby um, and break apart because it's plastic, and the Orbit Baby fixed that because this is not plastic. So it has a Velcro here, if you want to make it stay up, it has Velcro and you Velcro it up to stay up. So there's Velcro here on this side. Just a little piece of Velcro. It absolutely holds it. I, I love, 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 love. And it's really comfortable actually. It's really comfortable. I'll show you how to hold it in a minute. It's really comfortable. It also has an awesome sun canopy. And one of the even more awesome things about it is it has the paparazzi shade. So some of you might remember Tori Spelling had her babies with this. So the paparazzi shade goes all the way down. And I'll show you with it off the base, but it covers your baby. It's a breathable fabric. You can see in the sides. Absolutely love it. So this is called the paparazzi shade. And Tori Spelling loved it because then her babies weren't getting photographed. Um, yeah, so that's the paparazzi shape. It also comes with an infant insert right here. And it is a five-point harness. And you can also buy another infant insert if your baby is under four pounds. So the Orbit infant car seat is good for four to 30 pounds. 19 to 32 inches. So babies four to 30 pounds, 19 to 32 inches. It's a, a really good car seat. I absolutely love it. It's really easy. I do have another video that shows you how to tighten and loosen this car seat, but I will show you right here. So this, there's a little button in here that you push and then you pull and that loosens it. And then you just pull this to tighten it. Again, inside of here, and I love that it's covered because then all of the junk doesn't get in here. Um, if you give your baby crackers in the car, it, it won't get in here. It's really difficult to get in here. So you push it, pull it, that's how it adjusts. So I'm going to go ahead and take the car seat off of the base. And this is one of the absolutely awesome features of the Orbit baby infant car seat. This is like the number one feature of why I purchased this car seat. So it has this divot here on each side and there are handles. You have to pull up one or both handles and you can swivel the car seat either way. So you swivel it and then you pull it up. So it's really easy to carry baby. I love that this is not plastic because it conforms to your body. You can hold it uh, on either side, you can also hold it like this really easily because it has the uh, handles basically here. And it feels like this is much lighter than the original version. I will have to look up what this car seat weighs. I remember my car seat was incredibly heavy. So I will um, throw that information up there. But this is the car seat. Super awesome. How you adjust the straps 
is back here. So the one downfall of the, the Orbit Infant Car Seat is that it's not a no rethread harness. You have to actually take it apart um, to, to rethread it. So what you would do is you would loosen it here all the way and then take it out here, put your harness in whichever slot you need it to be. And so that's how you would rethread. Again, there's a little thing here. So you loosen it here and then pull it out here. Let me actually, I can loosen it real fast. You can hear that it's clinking around. So here we go. So you take the two belts off here, you pull them out through here, and then you put them in whichever slot you need them to be in, and you rethread them. So, and it does have a little diagram here, a little picture that shows you the correct way to put them. Um, one downfall of this car seat is that you do have to do the rethread. Uh, I wish that it was a no rethread, but this is what it is. I still would recommend this car seat, even with that. Let's make sure those go back in there. And then you also have also have two slots here so you also have two slots here for your um, bottom belt your crotch belt to go it is a five-point harness easily adjusted uh, easy to take apart it does have a nice pad here so that baby isn't getting hit by that. It has some pads here, so you can see it has the second for smaller babies. You can move it forward. Um, it is machine washable. The fabric is machine washable on cold, uh, air dry, not tumble dry. Super easy to attach. You can take off the harness. All of the fabric comes off really easily. It's just some Velcro. It's really easy to put back on. So that is the infant seat. And again, so you're walking, 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 walking. You have baby. You go, you open the car door. I'll open the car door over here. You put baby in like this. in place and then you turn it and now it's clicked into place and there's no jiggling of the car seat that's one of the things that I hate the most with infant car seats and you can even pick it up and pull it out um, I typically turn it I really hate infant car seats where you're like oh I'm gonna get the baby out. and you jiggle baby all over the place oh I hate it I hate it so much so I love orbit baby because you set it on the hub, you turn it, and it clicks. Baby is not getting jiggled everywhere. Love, love, love. Now let's talk about the base. The base is pretty awesome as well. So it has the latch system, and it also has the seatbelt path. And I will show you on another video. I'll put the link below on how to install this in your car. It's super easy. Um, Red means no, green means good. This goes against the car seat. It has the seat belt path right here. And it has this awesome uh, turny thing. I can't think of what it's called right now. But it lets you angle your car seat up and down depending on your car and your car's seat. So it's really, really, really uber safe. I, I love it. Absolutely love the Orbit Infant Car Seat. This is the G5, uh, worth every penny, worth every penny. And you can purchase another base. Um, you also can install this with a seat belt. You can install this with a seat belt. So I'm gonna take it over here 
and move to the travel system. So here we have our stroller. So our car seat, again, can go on the hub. So the unique thing about the Orbit Baby line is that they have this hub. This, this hub is what makes them all interchangeable. So you can, they used to have a toddler car seat and perhaps they will come out with one um, in the future. And so you didn't have to buy another base. You could just put that right onto the base. So you never want to stroll or walk with your baby to the side. Not safe. It has to click into place. So now it's clicked into place. You can, if you so desire, have your baby be forward facing if you would like. So here we have it clicked into place. Um, what is nice about the rotation is again, no jiggling of the baby, but also if you are out and about, you decide that it's time for lunch and you want to pull baby right up to the table, oh, baby's at the table. And so I'm sitting here checking on baby, sitting here eating, checking on baby. Well, if baby's awake and wants to socialize with us, we can turn baby. It does click, but again, you're not supposed to, to walk or stroll with the baby in the car seat face to either side. You want baby forward or backwards. You do not want baby to the side. But I'm sitting here eating my food and baby is now at the table with me. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Easy off, easy on. So that is the Orbit Infant Baby Seat. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the frame right now before I move on. Okay, so this frame is really nifty. I, I really like it. There are a lot of really cool features about it. It has the nice uh, wheels. They are not um, air-filled. They are rubber. Uh, so it's got a really good shock system. It has a parent console right up here for two drinks, and it is removable so that you can wash it. Um, I don't recall how you take it off, but I know that you can take it off to rinse it out. It also has this handlebar here, and there is, it's made out of leather. And it is really awesome and um, just, okay. it is okay. It is adjustable. So it has, I thought the button was here, but that's just the logo. So it does have these two little buttons that you pull out and it adjusts. So this is at the highest. So this is pretty tall. This would be for the tall moms and dads, grandparents, nannies, uh, siblings. So pretty tall. That's the highest. Here's the next level. One level down. Next level. And that is the bottom level. It really, I am about 5'8 in this bottom level. It's perfect for me. I, I could move it up a little bit more if I wanted, but I do enjoy it right here. The brake system, super, super easy. Red means it's not going anywhere. Green. You are ready to roll. That is the brake system. The bag is very nice here. Uh, you can pull out here to grab whatever you need. You can also pull back here to grab whatever you need. And another really cool feature about this bag is that it is detachable. So I'll show you from the front how to do that. These two guys here 
you just push them in. And then you come back here and you grab this guy under here and you pull it out. And now you have a bag. So you can see that it collapses a little bit when you take it out because it's not being held up by the frame. So these guys, these guys here, they are what you push on to get it out and then it also goes in, there's little knobs, notches where it goes in. And very easy, very nice. And you can see that it has mesh on the sides and zippered pockets. So you can store very large zippered pockets. You can store uh, lots of things in here. One on each side. Very nice, very nice. And this is easily detached. You can wash it, Velcro. Um, all of this to make it easy to detach. So how to put it back in? I'm just gonna take this and just slide it back in. I'm gonna take it right here, slide it in. And now I'm going to take these two knobs and just fit them right into the little lever. And I will um, bring my camera closer and show you that. And then right here, it just attaches right there. Okay, so I think that that basically covers everything about the stroller frame. The wheels are detachable. Oh, folding. Folding is a very important thing that everybody is going to want to do. So how you fold the frame is there's a little lever right here and twist this guy and you fold it just like this. And then there is right here, it connects. So you can see right here is where it connects, which makes it so it doesn't open up. You can carry it like this, you can carry it like this, you can carry it like this. I wouldn't take this on a long trip carrying it like this, but taking it to and from the car, taking it where you need to go. So how to unfold it is you unhook right here. And easy to unfold. So I will show you this again. So how to fold is this little lever here. And then you turn this guy and it drops and it is now folded. I'm going to go ahead and unfold it again. Easy peasy. Okay, now I'm going to throw our um, stroller seat on here. The stroller seat has the same hub and the same handles as the car seat. And it also clicks into place. So this one can be forward facing and also parent facing. You can also uh, go for your walk and walking, walking. Oh, we're going to sit and eat. Let's sit here. I'm over here, baby's over here. We can go ahead and turn baby. So baby is now able to be at the table. Baby is able to face whatever direction you would like. I really loved this when we would go to the zoo, when we would walk to different exhibits, I could turn my baby to see the zoo. Now again, you do not want to stroll with baby in this position. You can see it doesn't lock in. You do want baby to be locked in. Baby is locked in. But what I would do is I would walk somewhere 
if there's something to the side that my child wanted to see, I would simply turn the seat and now my child can see it. So the stroller, the stroller is good for up to 40 pounds. So a child up to 40 pounds. That's your average four-year-old. So this stroller will last you a very long time. Okay, so how to recline the seats is to grab both of these and recline it. It is a pretty great incline. Um, baby is basically flat. They do, they are in a seat, so they are um, held like this. So they're not laying flat, but they are all the way back. And in order to turn the, the, the seat around, you do have to um, rotate it back for the foot rest to go in between the parent, the in between the handlebars. But again, you can have it here. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Now my canopy is fully extended. You can see this beautiful canopy, how baby can be reclined and still have some shade. So there's one level of recline, two, three, three levels. So I'll show you that without the canopy. One, two, oh, two, and three. So one, two, three. I feel like I'm the eye doctor. Which one looks better? One, two, or three? So one, two, one, two, two. There we go. Two in the middle. So one, two, three. Perfect. Now, this is the bumper bar. You can attach things to it. I installed mine upside down, so it does come off. Um, I'll take it off and show you. This is the proper way to put it on. It has a button here. You just push the button to put it on. Oh, sorry. This is the button right here. So it just clicks in right there. You can see it has a zipper that should easily come off. Um, so you just zip this off. You can put on a different color. You can also wash this. So I'm going to install it the correct way. And the canopy is similar. It has the same buttons. So the canopy is easy to take off. It has the same system, a button. Uh, you can remove it very easily to wash it and also to replace it with a different color if you so desire. To put the canopy on, you put it in, so it clicks. Now you want to make sure that you put your canopy on the back. is not all. There is one more. So the footrest here, I'm going to extend it back so you can see there is a lever here. You just pull the lever. So it looks like there's one and two. There's two. Um, you can also pull it all the way out if you don't want it there. And to install it, you simply Lift up the lever. Okay, so this is what it looks like with foot rest there and with it there. So that 
is the stroller with the stroller seat. So I'm going to go ahead and take the stroller seat off. And um, I guess I forgot to mention, the stroller seat also has a five-point harness. It has a five-point harness, uh, nice removable pads. It has this really uh, nice, gushy, cushy pad here that also is removable. So you can remove it. Let's remove this pad here. And when this pad is removed, it does have another pad here. Um, if your toddler, my toddler typically doesn't like these seats. My babies love them, my toddlers don't. So you can see that it's still padded, just not as padded. And here you can see there are different levels. We have one, two, three levels on our shoulder straps. There is only this one level here. Again, Velcro it to take it out, to wash it, to adjust the the shoulder straps is going to be very complicated. I thought it would be back in here. No, the shoulder straps. So you take this off and oh, that's pretty easy. So the shoulder straps have a really cool way to come off. I will bring this over closer to show you. So you see these buttons here. You push it and then pull it out. So it's a little clip and it has the three different levels. Um, if you're going to change it, you do need to take it all the way out and put it back through the correct level. But it is really simple. You push and pull and then to attach it, you push it in here. And it's all Velcroed in. So this flap back here is for some ventilation. And that is our stroller seat. I'm gonna go ahead and put the padding back on to show you how incredibly easy it is to do. So I'm gonna put the bottom buckle through here. And It's a two button release. So your, your child, your baby, your toddler won't be able to unbuckle themselves, which I think is nice. Now you can't just lift up on one handle, you have to pull both to get your seat up. So here, our five point harness, you have to push these in and these. So you can't just do one, you do have to do both. And then, very easy to put them in. So again, you have to do that and that, and you can do one side at a time if you need. And the straps are adjustable here as well. You can tighten or loosen. Tighten or loosen to make your straps tighter or looser, depending on your child size. All right, let's put our bumper bar back on. So that is the stroller. Now let's talk about the bassinet. 
So this is the G3 bassinet. The main difference between this and the G5 is that the G5 comes with the rocker stand. The great thing that I really appreciate that Orbit still did, so the Orbit Baby allows you to mix and match. So all of their seats and systems have the hub. Even the first generation, um, the second generation, the third generation, they, and the fifth generation, they all have this same hub. So even though this is a G3, it still fits. Even though this is the G3, it still fits onto the stroller. So typically you're only going to want to have your baby in the bassinet facing you. If you so desire, you can have your baby facing out. Looks like you cannot. So baby has to face parent, which is reasonable. You can also turn baby to the side. Again, you do not stroll with baby to the side. You absolutely want baby to be here. The canopy is wonderful. The canopy on the bassinet also has the paparazzi shoe. So it has the paparazzi shoe, so you can see, well, you can't see baby, which is the point, but the sides are still able for baby to have some fresh air. It's breathable fabric. It is not meant um, to trap baby in there. And this also takes away the need for a car seat canopy because you have your own built-in car seat canopy. I honestly never used mine. My baby didn't spend much time in the car seat when we were not in the car. I'm a big proponent of uh, car seats only being used in the car and not as a stroller. So I didn't use my canopy very often. Uh, and I honestly didn't use my car seat with the stroller base. I would use the, the stroller seat. I just don't like having babies in car seats when they're not in the car. So the, let's take this off of here. We'll move you over here. So the bassinet is nice and deep. You can see how deep it is. It comes with a foot muff that attaches with the sides here and Velcro. The Velcro is down here. Now I cannot guarantee that the G5 bassinet is exactly like this. I would assume that they have improved a little bit upon it, but the basics of the bassinet will be the same. It is collapsible, so you can make it collapse um, so that you can store it or travel with it. This one comes apart here and it has a wooden board on the bottom and then you pull this to collapse it. And um, yeah, so that it collapses. It does have, again, removable, washable fabric everywhere. It also, has a very nice mattress with a removable pad. Again, this is the G3 bassinet. This is not the G5. So the features on the G5 might be a touch different. However, the G3 does work with the base, with the hub. So if you, if you, find a G3 bassinet that you like better, you can purchase these used. I would never suggest purchasing a car seat used, absolutely not. But if you buy the Orbit Helix and you have the double seat and perhaps you need another bassinet or another stroller seat, I do, do suggest saving a little bit of money by purchasing them used. So the original, the G2, the G3, all fit on this hub. So they all fit, they all work together. It does have a nice um, 
way for you to carry it. The handles are awesome like that. I really do appreciate the handles. And again, you have to do both of the handles to get the bassinet out. Uh, one handle works on the bassinet. For the car seat, you need two hands. And I will go ahead and show you that with this guy as well. So one doesn't quite cut it, you need both. So you need both, not just one. Locked in, all right. So I'll show you the car seat. That's one works on the car seat, both works as well, but one works on the car seat. So that is the Orbit Infant baby system, uh, G5. G5, uh, I really, really, really do love uh, the whole system. I did forget to say the bassinet is good for newborns up to six months old. It is good to 20 pounds. If baby is rolling over, sitting up, pulling themselves up, standing up, you don't want to use the bassinet. The bassinet is for newborns, for infants, I would say up to three months, uh, possibly four, depending on your baby. The last thing that I want to show you here is this guy. So right here is where we're going to pull to detach it. So you can see these two knobs here. This is, so they are pressure and that's how you're going to put that back in. And this here just keeps it from going any farther and then you pull it here. Pull it all the way out and then put it back in. Show you from the side. Pull it out, all the way, and then right back in. I can show you how to, and you can see, I mean, I'm holding this up so it's not very heavy. So you wanna put it right there on that pressure and then, this is tricky to do while holding the stroller up. Then you wanna get the other one just aligned right there. And so they are just pressure right there. Pretty easy to take apart. Much easier when it's on the ground. Let's see if I can even get it apart. There we go. When it's not on the ground, there we go. So just right there. It makes a nice little carrying bag. Attach it back up, both sides. So if I can do this while holding it, imagine how easy it is when it's on the ground. So this is the Orbit G5 infant car seat bassinet, this is a G3 bassinet, but this is the Orbit G5, Orbit Baby Infant Car Seat, Stroller Seat, Stroller Base. Absolutely love it, highly recommend it. I, I have not found an infant car seat that I like better than this one. The only downside to this car seat is that it's the you have to re-thread the harness, it's not a no re-thread. I hope that Orbit Baby comes out with that pretty soon. Um, yeah, so that is the Orbit Baby G5. And I highly suggest buying it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I will absolutely answer any questions that you have. And that is what I've got for you.